Welcome to Space Oddities and this edition of Astronomical Lives. When most people hear the name Hubble, their minds instantly jump to the amazing astronomical images that is sent to us from space by the Hubble Space Telescope, which of course was named after Edwin Hubble. So what did Mr Hubble do exactly to gain this honour? Let's start from the beginning. Edwin Hubble was born on November the 20th, 1889, in Marshfield, Missouri, USA. His parents were John Powell Hubble, an insurance executive, and Virginia Lee James. Hubble's family moved to Chicago, Illinois, where he attended the Wheaton High School, where he excelled in academics and athletics. In 1906, he received a scholarship to the University of Chicago, where he studied mathematics, astronomy and philosophy. He was also an accomplished athlete participating in track and field events. After graduating from the University of Chicago in 1910, Hubble won a Rhodes Scholarship to the University of Oxford in the UK. At Oxford, he studied jurisprudence and Spanish, earning a Bachelor of Arts degree in 1912. Hubble's early career. Hubble returned to the United States and briefly worked as a high school teacher and basketball coach in New Albany, Indiana. His passion for astronomy led him back to the University of Chicago, where he pursued a PhD in astronomy, under the guidance of physicist Robert Millikan. Hubble's doctoral thesis, completed in 1917, was titled Photographic Investigations of Faint Nebulae. He was awarded his PhD in astronomy, having made significant contributions to the understanding of nebulae. World War I interrupted Hubble's scientific career. He enlisted in the US Army and served as an officer. After the war, he resumed his astronomical research, having been honorably discharged as a major. In 1919, Hubble joined the staff at the Mount Wilson Observatory in California, which housed the largest telescope of the time, the 100-inch Hooker Telescope. This position enabled him to make groundbreaking discoveries that would revolutionise our understanding of the universe. Hubble used the strong direct relationship between a classical Cepheid variable's luminosity and pulsation period, discovered in 1908 by Henrietta Swan Leavitt, for scaling galactic and extragalactic distances. Hubble used the Hooker telescope to observe Cepheid variable stars in the Andromeda Nebula, now known as the Andromeda Galaxy. In 1923-24, he discovered that these stars were much further away than previously thought, proving that Andromeda was not a nebula within the Milky Way, but a separate galaxy. Hubble's findings proved that many objects previously thought to be clouds of dust and gas and classified as nebulae were actually galaxies beyond the Milky Way. See the Great Debate, 26th of April, 1920, between Harlow Shapley and Herbert Doust Curtis. Hubble's most famous discovery came in 1929, when he formulated Hubble's Law, demonstrating that the universe is expanding. By measuring the redshifts of distant galaxies and comparing them with their distances, Hubble showed that galaxies are moving away from each other. This discovery provided the first observational evidence for the Big Bang. While other scientists, including Einstein, 
had assumed the universe to be static or never, never changing, Hubble went on to show the universe is expanding. This notion of an expanding universe formed the basis of the Big Bang Theory, which states that the universe began with an intense burst of energy at a single moment in time, and has been expanding ever since. Hubble had changed our view of the universe forever. Finding that our own vast galaxy, home to our sun and a hundred billion other stars, is but one of a billion of other galaxies. Edwin Hubble developed the hubble lemaitre law, which describes the expansion of the universe. Georges Lemaitre was a Belgian priest who, using Einstein's equations, also predicted that the universe should be expanding, before Edwin Hubble. By 1929, Hubble had discovered not only was the universe home to millions of other galaxies, but the universe itself was expanding. He published a paper, A Relation Between Distance and Radial Velocity Among Extragalactic Nebulae. That demonstrated that the further away the galaxy was from Earth, the faster it was moving away from Earth. Hubble also developed a classification system for galaxies known as the Hubble Sequence or the Hubble Tuning Fork. This system categorised galaxies into spirals, elliptics and irregulars, aiding in the systematic study of their properties and their evolution. Edwin Hubble's achievements were recognised with numerous awards, including the Bruce Medal, 1938, and the Gold Medal of the Royal Astronomical Society in 1940. He was elected to the National Academy of Sciences and received several honorary degrees. Hubble re-enlisted in the Army during World War II, where he served as a ballistic scientist contributing to military research. At the end of World War II, Hubble continued his astronomical research at Mount Wilson and later at Mount Palomar Observatory, where he used the 200-inch Hale telescope. He was instrumental in the planning and commissioning of the Hale telescope, which became operational in 1948. Edwin Hubble passed away on September 28th, 1953, from a cerebral thrombosis. In recognition of his contributions, NASA named the Hubble Space Telescope, HST, after him. Launched in 1990, the HST has provided unprecedented images and data, furthering many of Hubble's groundbreaking studies. Hubble is remembered as one of the greatest astronomers of the 20th century, whose work continues to inspire and guide scientific inquiry. His discoveries have had a profound impact on both the scientific community and public understanding of the cosmos. A summary of Edwin Hubble's achievements. Andromeda Galaxy he proved that the Andromeda Nebula was a galaxy outside the Milky Way. Hubble's Law Demonstrated the linear relationship between the distances of galaxies and their recessional velocity, providing evidence for the expanding universe. Galaxy Classification Developed the Hubble Sequence for classifying galaxies, a system still used today. Big Bang Theory support provided crucial observational support for the Big Bang Theory through his redshift distance relationship findings. Scientific influence Hubble's methodologies and discoveries have influenced a wide range of scientific fields, 
including cosmology, astrophysics and observational astronomy. Honours and commemorations. The Hubble Space Telescope, a major astronomical observatory, was named in his honour. Hubble's discoveries continue to be celebrated and studied, reflecting his enduring legacy in the field of astronomy. Hubble's personal life. Marriage. Edwin Hubble married Grace Burke. They married on February the 26th, 1924. The couple did not have any children together. Grace was supportive of Hubble's astronomical research and often accompanied him to professional events. Grace was widowed when Edwin Hubble passed away on September 28, 1953. Beyond these basic facts, there is not much publicly known about Grace Burke Hubble. Her life seems to have been primarily centred around her husband and his career. Personal traits and interests. Athleticism. Hubble was not only a distinguished scientist, but also an accomplished athlete, excelling in various sports during his youth. Multifaceted scholar. His education and interests spanned multiple disciplines, including law and languages, showcasing his broad intellectual curiosity. Educational contributions. Influence on future astronomers. Hubble mentored and inspired many young astronomers, shaping the future of the field through his guidance and pioneering research. Public engagement. Hubble's discovery co captured the public imagination, helping to popularise astronomy and increase interest in space exploration. How Hubble reinvented himself. Described as an Adonis by his friends, with looks that resembled Clark Gable, you would think that Hubble would be pretty satisfied with the hand he drew, but you'd be wrong. Eager to climb up on the social ladder, he adopted a British accent, like the ones he heard while studying at Oxford University, sported a pipe and a cape, and padded his CV, claiming he had handled legal cases in Kentucky when he had not. Conclusion Edwin Hubble's life was marked by remarkable achievements that transformed our understanding of the universe. From proving the existence of galaxies beyond the Milky Way to demonstrating the universe's expansion, his work laid the foundation for modern cosmology. The Hubble Space Telescope, named in his honour, continues to build his legacy, revealing the wonders of the cosmos and inspiring future generations. Hubble's blend of intellectual rigour, curiosity and dedication to science ensures that his contributions will be remembered and celebrated for many years to come. I hope you enjoyed this brief look into an astronomical life. Don't forget to peruse our library of previous videos on YouTube. Also, join us live on Tuesday nights at 8pm UK time. Just search Space Oddities Live. If it's happening in space, it's happening on Space Oddities. Hope to see you there. Bye for now.